Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting for you to episode 4 of Hori Mia. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 3, 2, 1, go. Are gonna take this crap out of my freaking hand. <laughs> they don't date, of course. Really, I can't even take this out tonight. I'm gonna have to wait until tomorrow. Yeah, but it's still a lot for you, isn't it? so cute. <laughs> hey, me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, the green hair girl. <laughs> yes. Seriously? <laughs> oh. 
Oh, of course. <laughs> Wouldn't it have just been better to just write everything down? Yeah, it's a big old, well, not love triangle anymore, more squiggly lines. Just walking and talking oh, and dropping money. Mm. Exactly, and, and soda. He deserves to be happy.
Mm-hmm. Okay, and how did that go? So cute too, oh my god. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but it's cute. <laughs> Oh, they're going to walk right into each other. She was just like, fuck it. I'm just like getting into this conversation group. <laughs>
Oh my god! Oh, he's worse than Inosuke. I bet you his friends are gonna get jealous. So? Mm-hmm. Yeah, because imagine what you would have been like if he wasn't there for you. You can't go to school. Not like that. What are you? <laughs> She'll be fine. This is the first time you got sick, of course. Mm-hmm. Oh! Hmm. Don't go. She doesn't want to be alone, though.
my god! Oh, of course, Kilgore that shit. Ha 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 I don't know what to say about this episode. Oh my god. Jesus Christ. Did you have to do that? Like, oh my god. Oh god. I can't. It's too much. Oh, Kyoko baby. Oh my god. I feel so bad for her. Especially, okay. Love the fact that Izumi was there to comfort her. Dislike the fact that, you know, ever since she was her uh, a kid and her mom had to work, her mom always left her. So in a way, it seems like Kyoko has separation anxiety. And that's okay, because we all have that. Heck, my dog got that when I leave. <laughs> um, and she hates to be alone. Probably way even before Sota was born as well. And she, God, I, God damn it! I mean, we're four episodes into this, and she, she and I are so fucking similar that it's not even funny. And I can't, like, oh my god, it's too much because she's so mature for her age, and of course, she has to be not the not essentially the breadwinner because that is her mom, but because the fact is her mom is hella busy. She has to take care of her little brother. And so it's very similar to the situation that, like, I'm in anytime when my mom is sick. And it really because it is just me and my mom. And my dad is kind of non-existent. Um, he's here, but... Eh. <laughs> um, I'm always the one who has to take care of her no matter what. I'm the one who's, who comes first to her and then so on and so forth. But... <laughs> just said it like right there right there and just like thinking maybe she's asleep and of course if someone's sleep they're not gonna hear it but no she's up and she heard everything so all right so this boy this man just confessed it, it makes you wonder when is she gonna confess oh they gonna they gonna stretch <laughs> they're gonna stretch this shit out like oh my god honestly really Woo, God, mm, mm. I can't believe I'm about to say this, but this this is only a good, it, it, it's good. This ain't bad, but this is really good. This is what, mm, how should I wear No, nope, okay, we're going to say it like this. This is what all men should strive to be. All boys, men, whatever. Um, 
when you truly find that special someone, whether same sex, uh, opposite sex, whatever, and how you treat that man or that woman. Same thing for us as females and stuff. And when you get those feelings, even though, like, there are times where Kyoko does play a little hard to get, and yes, us females have been like that. (laughs) I was like that with my last boyfriend. (laughs) But it's okay. I I mean, slowly but surely, she is realizing her feelings as well. I just think it's going to take her a little bit longer to confess to him. He confessed in episode four, so my money is on... I'll say eight. Yeah. Episode eight. And then they start dating by episode nine. Mm-hmm. 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 Yes. <laughs> That's all. But, like, the fact that he came and took care of her. Like, oh, my God. <laughs> that was so fucking cute. Like, made me cry. Like, y'all need to stop it. Y'all, I, I can't. I can't with these two. Oh my god, like seriously, I cannot with y'all because this is too much and all the feels that I'm getting with these two and just, yeah, they gonna make me cry. Y'all, y'all are worse than freaking Courier and Swindler from Akudama Drive. They ain't have any like romantic moments, but they had a lot of shipping moments and I'm like, oh my god, I can't with these two. And then, you know, cried over them, of course, <laughs> because they so fucking keep together. But other than that, guys, that was very active. <laughs> it's episode four of Honey Mia. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially, y'all, next Saturday for episode five. Bye, guys.